Hey beautiful friends, thank you so much for visiting me today. So today I have an empties video. My very first introduction video was also an empties video and I have my cute little trash can that my sister got me. I believe she bought it from Ross, but it kind of matches my room decor so I love it. I've, since I made that video last month, <clears throat> um, I have gotten actually a lot more, not a lot, but um, a few more empties and I thought I would make another empties video um, before I have a huge bin of trash can and the video gets crazy long because I like to talk and so um, I don't know if you guys like longer videos or not but in effort to keep my videos a little bit shorter I decided to do my empties now um, before they get piled up so I will go ahead and just get started. And like I said, um, for my first empties video, I don't know if you guys like these kind of videos, but I really do. I love watching empties videos. So um, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up, let me know. And um, if you don't, you don't have to watch. It's totally cool with me. Um, but uh, like I said, since I like watching them, I, th I thought it'd be fun to do them. So let me know your preference. So I will just get to it randomly. So the first thing I have here is a um, from Garnier Fructis Triple Nutrition 3 Minute Undo Dryness Reversal Treatment. So this is like a leave-in, well not like a leave-in conditioner, but a conditioner that you leave in for 3 minutes um, in a shower. And I got this for myself probably in the summer. And I also bought one for a friend. And um, I was actually looking for my very favorite um, 3 Minute Miracle from Aussie, but they were out at the store and I really wanted it because I had I think I had just gotten um, my hair done and I really love that one for um, really conditioning my hair and making it soft but since they were out and I really wanted something and I was also doing a swap I decided to grab this and try it and um, grab one for a friend <clears throat> I believe this is maybe a dollar or two more than the one from Aussie and though I did like it I probably will not repurchase it because I actually do already have um, the three minute miracle in my shower now um, and I just prefer that one more so than this one this one's good but just not as good I think in my opinion than the Aussie one so um, yeah there's that second thing um, is from L'Oreal it's their go 360 clean anti breakout facial cleanser and I originally bought this um, probably back in the summer as well um, when that's when I first started getting my breakout um, when it was still small before it got really bad more like the stress acne that it is now but I got this because another youtuber had said she used it and she loved it and it really worked for her and um, also I loved the idea of this little scrubby thing to use for your face because um, I have mentioned before that I I tend to be really rough with my skin. I like putting um, <laughs> really hot water and a washer and just scrubbing the crap out of my face. I know that's bad. Um, now I don't obviously because I use the EX3 from Trace Skin RX. Um, but I also um, love this little flexible rubbery thing. It feels very nice on my skin. I'm on the fence on if I want to repurchase this or not and um, it took me a long time to finish it because I didn't feel like it really worked that well for me. Um, there were times when I would leave it on my skin and I don't think you're really supposed to do that but in an attempt to try to really um, dry out or get rid of a very bad breakout I left it on my skin it did seem to make them go away but also made my skin very dry. Um, and also I am using Trace Skin RX but I did keep this after I started switched to Trace Skin RX exclusively. Um, I stuck this in my shower to um, use like after the gym or um, for just quickly washing my face in between using the Trace Skin RX and um, until it was gone. So I did kind of like using it for that just to keep in my shower um, to have something else so I didn't use up all my, my really expensive face wash. Um, so I might repurchase it but I'm just not sure. Because like I said, I don't know how well it really worked for um, my breakouts personally, but um, I mean, it has salicylic acid in it and stuff like that, and so it, it can work for that, but for my breakouts, it's probably not really the best. Um, still, you know, like I said, I'm on the fence. I don't know. I might repurchase I'm sure it's only, it's just under $5. It's like four fifty five or something super cheap. Um, so, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a waste of money, so... I'm on the fence, but I, I most likely I'm gonna say I most likely will probably break um, buy it again and stick it in my shower. 
Another shower item that I ran out of was this um, Avon Naturals um, body gel. It's their vanilla. In my first empties video, I think I had run out of the lotion, and you guys already know, like I said, I have a big box of <laughs> these. I have um, backup supplies. Um, stocked up so I already do have another one of this um, vanilla is my favorite scent and from Avon I've always loved this scent and I am um, so I have the spray and the body wash and the lotion um, but I ran out of this recently another shower item I actually got in my last Beauty Box 5, oh, which reminds me, if I look familiar, yes, I filmed two videos in one day, and I did my um, Beauty Box 5 unboxing in this same outfit today, um, but in, I believe maybe this was the December or November um, Beauty Box, Box 5 box, I got this um, Aveeno Positively Nourishing Calming Body Wash, and um, I did like it a lot. It smelled really good and, and I don't typically stray from my vanilla scents because I love that so much but I did really enjoy this. I might repurchase it because I did like it but I like I said I already have like a stockpile of the body gel um, vanilla from um, Avon and then I also have another one from Bath and Body Works that I stocked up on during a um, Bath and Body Works uh, sale so um, I did really like this. And I do like the scent, even though it's not vanilla, but this um, lavender scent is really nice. So, maybe, maybe for the kids I'll purchase it because I think they would enjoy that for their bath times. Um, mostly bath item, bathroom items. Next thing I finished was this uh, Crest 3D Whitening. And um, my husband and I use this, and I do think it helps whiten teeth. Um, we don't really, there's different kinds, like this one's Glamorous White, but I don't really pay attention to which one, I just get it. Although, since we ran out of this, I did purchase another one for my husband, and then I did get the sensitive one for myself, because my teeth have been sensitive, um, because I have started um, teeth whitening again, um, um, aside from this, obviously. Um, and I do brush, I brush very, I brush a lot during the day probably more than I should and I brush very hard because I really don't like the feeling of anything on my teeth um, and I've kind of um, <laughs> maybe too my but um, my gums up here got really sensitive and um, so there's a part of my the root of my tooth showing a little bit back here and that is very sensitive so um, I've switched the sensitive version of this but my husband uses the normal one and and I might have actually, no, my last empties video, I ran out of the My Beauty Addictions um, uh, Mist Setting Spray, and I just ran out. I go through this stuff like crazy. Does anybody else use this that fast? I use it really fast. I don't know why, but Elf's Makeup Mist and Set, and I do actually have the My Beauty Addiction um, Mist um, Makeup Mist um, on the, its way, so I ordered that. Um, but yeah, that's something I ran out of, and I will be buying more, because I always do. I go between, like I said in my last empties video, I go between the Elf one and um, the one from My Beauty Addiction, and I switch back and Forth. Um, what is your favorite um, setting spread? I've been wanting to try another one, but I know some of them can be expensive, and I don't know, really know which one's worth it. I like these ones because they're cheap and because I do go through it really fast, and I don't know if it's just because they're cheap that I go through, the, well, at least the e.l.f. one um, so fast um, or not. So how fast do you guys go through um, setting spray, and which one do you recommend I try next? I was thinking maybe the one, one of them from NYX. I think there's two from NYX, but I'm not sure, but... Um, let me know what you guys use. Okay, the other thing I um, went through was from Moody Sisters Coffee Body Butter. And I did do a review on this on the blog because I was sent this to review. And so I won't talk much about it just because I do have the review. Um, I don't think I will be purchasing this, but I did fall in love with um, their lip balm, which I talked about also in the review, and I will be purchasing more of that. Um, but I do love this jar. It's like a nice glass jar, so I will probably be actually keeping that and figuring out something to do with it. Um, another thing I recently ran out of, which actually... I don't know if it's mostly just kind of dried up, but I just get to where I can't really get any more out of it. <clears throat> is a nail polish, a base coat from Sinful Colors, and um, I 
yeah, I liked it, but I won't repurchase this just because I, I, I am right now. I currently have one that I'm using from Essie, and even though it is more expensive, a lot more expensive, I do prefer it a lot more. It dries very quickly, and it is a nice base coat. So I have one from Essie that I'm using, but again, this one's from Sinful Colors. And the last thing I have is a brow pencil, and this is not actually from Billion Dollar Brows. This is from It Cosmetics. Um, which I ordered a long, long time ago and started using um, actually before I started using um, Billion Dollar Brows. And I actually really did like this, but once I started using Billion Dollar Brows kind of exclusively because I was doing a review on them, um, I put this away for a little while. And then when I ran out of my Billion Dollar Brow pencil, um, I started using this again in between and um, until I got my other one. But I was kind of switching back and forth just to use it up because I know it was at the very end of it. But... Um, I think I might repurchase this one again, even though I love the one from Billion Dollar Brows, and the uh, one from Billion Dollar Brows is longer um, and has more product in it, but this one actually is a little bit thinner, and I'll go ahead and zoom you guys in. So it's, there's just the little tiny bit left, but this one has a thinner, it's like an oval shape, so it's, um, but that's all that's left, there's nothing more left to it. And I couldn't really use it again, but anyways, this one's a little bit thinner, so it help, helps for a more precise line. Um, anything thinner than this, though, because it's still pretty thick, I don't really prefer just because um, I have such thick brows. But anyways, it also has, which I love, it also has on the other end um, a little brush to, to brush your eyebrows. And I really like this, so I might repurchase this because I do really like it a lot. Um, it just is kind of, well, I think... Yeah, it's, I want to say it's more expensive than the Billion Dollar Brow one, um, but I do really like it a lot. It's one, it's a universal one that could go with any eyebrow color, that's what it claims, at least so is the Billion Dollar Brow one, but um, um, I will make up my mind on which one I will repurchase again, but I do recommend this one. I like it a lot, because, um, yeah, like I said, um, it has a little bit, a little bit of a thinner, um, tip and it's a little bit more precise still very thick though because um, I have thick brows which I like that so but anyways that is all for my empties and I hope you guys enjoy if you like these kind of videos be sure to thumbs up and leave a comment below um, and that is all for now so I guess I will talk to you guys uh, next time